Those black and white squares seem simple, but they're a brilliant and robust system for storing data. But here's the amazing part. How can it still work perfectly if it's torn, dirty, or even has a logo covering a huge chunk of it? It all starts with the structure. The scanner first looks for the finder patterns, these three large squares in the corners. They instantly tell the scanner exactly where the code is and what angle it's at, so it doesn't matter if it's upside down or sideways. Next, smaller alignment marks help correct for distortion, like if the code is printed on a curved surface like a coffee cup. Then, timing blocks, a line of alternating squares, define the entire grid size, telling the scanner how many rows and columns of data to expect. The rest of the squares are the actual data. But this is where the magic happens. It's called Reed solomon error correction. When the QR code is made, it doesn't just store your data. It also stores redundant mathematical recovery data. This system is so robust that even if up to 30% of the code is missing or damaged, it can use that recovery data to rebuild the original message perfectly.